Hey guys, hey guys, welcome, so back, welcome to back to an exciting video, and today we're gonna show. That was my part. What happened? Yeah, go away. Okay. I I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new exciting video, and today we're gonna show you how to clone yourself. Alright guys, let's jump into Premiere. Um, before we're gonna start, there are a couple of different ways you can clone yourself. Um, you can do it with a green screen and putting yourself into another video, but there will be a lot of more work, so I'll show you an easier way, like the video I did, the video you saw before. And the only thing you need is a tripod and a camera. You put your camera on the tripod and film the exact same scene two times. So, for example, you put uh, yourself on the left side on the video and the second time on the right side. And having a conversation or something, it's gonna be a bit harder if you wanna shoot a bigger conversation between yourself because you have to time the things you wanna say. And yeah, it's gonna be a bit more pre-planning and maybe a, more few a few more takes. All right, here you're gonna have your first clip where you're sitting on the left side and that's your second clip where you're sitting on the right side. And the only thing you have to do is put in your second clip below the first clip. Just drag it there. And then you're gonna create a mask. You go on effect panels, onto opacity, grab that little pen tool and make a slice down the middle and then connect all the dots around the frame like a box. And then you have to click invert and boom. Both of you are on the video. So maybe you're gonna see a little line here and wondering why is that because you changed nothing and that's maybe if because if you light it up your setup, um, you throwing a different shadow from the left side and from the right side, or maybe the sun comes different into your window. But don't worry, you can easily fix that. Just go on mask feather and drag that up. And here you're gonna see it's going away. But don't pump it up too much, otherwise you're gonna see the result here, what happened. So just about 100, 150 and yeah, just try it and you're gonna see how much do you need of that. And yeah, that's all. Maybe if you want to, you can do some color correction. The easiest way in this part is if you're gonna create an adjustment layer and put a little metric color on it and do it yourself or maybe you, you have, still have a lot for that and just put it on it. Boom, yeah, that's all. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment below what, uh, what, you're gonna see, what you wanna see next. And yeah, see you on the next video, guys. Peace out. 